Welcome back to the Make Me Lab, guys. I am Eric. Today we have a little bit of a mishmash. We're going to do some tech news from the lab, so to speak. Uh, my patrons get mailbag videos, and I thought, well, it'd be a little fun to do a little update uh, for everyone else. So today, first up, um, quick little mini review. Um, these uh, fake AirPods that I bought they uh got a giant tiger which is basically a budget store here in canada kind of like higher end dollar store so at that price i couldn't couldn't resist and i've been trying these out for a few days and the, the fit and finish of them is absolutely lovely actually these things are great they they fit my ears good they're nice and light they're i think bigger than an airpod uh they have the silver here and the buttons on them. Pairing was a bit of a bugger up front, but that's what everybody says online. Um, Banggood sells these, uh, Amazon, I'll link down below. I love them. Um, there's zero bass response though. They, the bass is horrible on them. They're, but they're not tinny. Whatever driver they're using in here is working absolutely wonderfully the the clarity like i'm hearing the songs i've listened to for 20 years uh, i'm hearing the lyrics clearly now maybe something has shifted in my brain i don't know but i'm picking up words and lyrics that i've never had that, that just were mumbles to me before so very interesting so yeah pretty cool next up oh check this out <laughs> i found this at my local dollar store 10 inch round rotating platform 65 pound rated but how perfect is this for doing electronics on i stuck one of these non-slippy things on it it's a horrible bearing in it it's but that's a good thing it's kind of it locks into place and doesn't spin freely so pretty cool It'd be real good for pick and place i think um anyway uh, i'll try not to uh this is uh, a nifty all the way from Poland. This is from Pavel Spakalski, the father of Inev, or one of the fathers, sent me uh, an awesome little care package. And he, he did cue me up on this on my live stream and said he would send me some Polish solder. And sure enough, he did. Professional. I'm not familiar with this brand. It's a ISO 9001, ISO 14001. And we'll give this a go. We'll try this out and see how it works. Uh, it may very well work good. This is uh, my favorite. Um, I don't even know whether I can get this anymore. Next Tech. This is uh, Rosin Core Solder 6040 from uh used to be radio shack here in canada and i'm on my this is my second last roll but we'll give a uh, pavel uh, solder a go and he included some awesome stickers um my ask to you guys is what should we send pavel in return um <laughs> in return to home we trust i love it i love these stickers these are great so what should we send him back? We, I think we should send a care, a care package to Poland. I really do. So let me know. Um, we'll put something together. I'm going to uh, do this on the live stream, I think. Uh, this is a kit I've had kicking around forever. This is a function generator. I think we'll assemble this little kit and we'll put this into the maker case, the portable electronics lab project. How cool would that be? That's why I bought this actually when I bought it. So yeah, I think that'll be fun. Okay, next up, this has been on the list forever. Uh, I have to cover this here. This is the Totem Mini Lab. And hopefully I'll cut away to some unboxing footage and stuff of this. Uh, I've had this kit here forever. And the problem being is this kit uh, requires a lot of assembly. Of these um, bracketry here, this mechanic stuff with all these T-nuts. Um, I, I just don't have the time. I thought I would make a go of trying this out and I just haven't. So this is super cool. The Totem Mini Lab has microcontroller on board and all the handy things. Check out, check out these seven segment displays. Look at that. Oh, that is, 
That is pretty schmeck. I like this. That's pretty cool. I really like it. But uh, I need to make the time to just get this out and get it going and give it a try. They even send an awesome little screwdriver with it. Check that out. Isn't that cool? And they sent me um, a sensor side panel, which I may have some other coverage of. If not, oh, look at this humidity sensor uh my favorite little 0.96 inch oled microphone with amplifier uh, a little potentiometer buzzer buttons some jumpers for different selections and yeah um if it wasn't so damn big i would do a giveaway with it but i think we'll we'll figure something out and my check out this for all the inventory nerds out there I have, uh, I now have all my inventory all spiff and this, uh, this video isn't even out yet. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. Actually, yeah, the video is not out yet, but here's the sneak peek. There's my Pi Pico uh, breakout board with all the screw terminals. I finally got uh, the proper, like a decent price on these screw terminals, not the ridiculous 10 bucks a shot ones. Look at that, oh, PCB way. Ah, I love their product. I just love the boards I get from PCB way. They're so fantastic. And the only weakness was my design with the Pico upside downy, <laughs> but that's okay. That's not a, that's a minor thing. I designed it so that it would be sitting on these standoffs anyway, so that I could reuse my Pico elsewhere and just use these jumpers to jump her over or on the back side to my prototyping area. And I did the same with this. Check this out. This is my, I finally, I've, I've needed one of these so many times and it drove me nuts. This is the Wemos D1 Mini. And this is my little breakout board with prototyping area. And because I so often need SPI and I squared C for uh, my displays and stuff, I broke those out. And then I also broke out um, I didn't clean up the solder flux, whoops. Uh, I broke out a second set of headers, the same as what I did on this one on the outside, except these ones, I broke them out on the inside to keep the board a little smaller. And that way you can just run jumpers here or under the chip to go to the prototyping area. And then your I squared C and power and ground are already broke out. And that, I didn't get quite get sucked down enough. It's a little loose but minor thing. So uh, it's not loose on the terminals. It's just the casing. That's kind of normal. But uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Pretty cool, eh? Um, those are also in my store already, uh, but the video is not up because I haven't even begun editing it yet. The parts finally showed up for this. This is a project sneak peek. Uh, I got the motors, um, I got the wrong motors initially, but just DC brush motors. And this is for an Adafruit design. I needed a micro switch too, so I didn't have any, and now I do. Check that out. That is a centrifuge. I have the, the little vials, I forget, what are they? Like five milliliter? No, they're smaller than that. That go in here, the ones that, the ones that Ned Landry had in, uh, um, in Jurassic Park those things and then they spin 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 pretty cool pretty handy for some lab experiments that i want to do someday so i'm not gonna buy i don't do enough lab stuff but what a crazy day and age to i i can't afford to buy a centrifuge nor would i want to but i just noe and pedro had made this design on adafruit and there we go so yeah pretty cool and then a little sneak peek uh this uh, my patrons just saw this too on my mailbag I splurged and got myself some, uh, an EEPROM programmer, a proper, a good, two good EEPROM programmers, but I'm not going to go digging that out. There's a zero insertion force socket and we'll do it's It'll get its own videos, but of course, like I always do, I want to use stuff for a while. So the video for this probably won't come out for many months. I, I usually don't do review videos until I've been using the product for at least like it takes me like six months before I get some use out of anything. So yeah. And then I'm playing with this in the background. 
this is uh, gonna do some machine learning. So cheers guys, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this little maker update. It's not a mailbag, but it's more of a little project showcase what you can expect to see. And uh, I can't wait to edit the video on this. It's, it's currently open on my desktop and uh, I'll get these out and there'll be a giveaway on one of these videos too. So stay tuned for that. Cheers guys, good luck in all your projects.